Christian Chudo here, academyofphotography.com. Welcome to the lesson number three of uh, basics of photography for beginners. In the first couple of lessons, uh, we went through how the light works. In the second lesson, we have discussed how camera works. I would like to explain today in more depth what happens with the light before it enters the camera and it goes through the lens. I will try to explain you what focal length is and I will try to explain what f-stop means. I'm pretty sure you can find this information in a lot of places, but I will try to go a little bit deeper than every, anyone else. For a beginner, all this talk about millimeters and f-stops can uh, sound a little bit daunting. I can assure you I was in the same situation and it took me a while to figure it out. I can promise you it's not going to be that difficult and I will, I will try to give you an explanation as easy as possible for everyone to understand. If there's any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or a, or a comment. I'll be happy to answer. What is the lens? The lens is the window. It's the eye of the camera. It's an optical device that projects the image to the sensor. Pretty simple, isn't it? The lens is defined by focal length we are talking about millimeters and uh, aperture, we are, we're talking about f-stops. For example, this lens is a 24 to 70 millimeters. That means the focal length is variable between 24 and 70. There are a lot of lenses who have a fixed focal length, 50 millimeters or 200 millimeters or whatever, but this, is, uh, this millimeter is referring to the focal length. Also, the lens is defined by an f-stop, which, uh, which is shown as a fraction. Uh, in this case, is a Canon f2.8, and that means the f-stop. The f-stop is basically explaining the aperture size. The aperture is the, si the diameter of the hole. The f varies between 1.2 and 22, and I will tell you a little bit later what that means. Before I explain the fo what focal length is, I need to give you a little bit of a crash course in optics. Now, we have explored how the light works, how the photon, which is, the, which is the, basically the particle of the light, travels through space. Now, this is a phenomenon. When the photon hits a surface from one material goes into another, for example, into air, which is a gas, the, light, the, the photon travels and it hits a surface such as, as a, uh, the surface of the glass or water, it's a different transparent material, it goes through. When the photon goes through and hits the surface, it changes direction. This is called refraction. I'm not going to question why and how, uh, I just know it happens. When the light hits the surface, it changes the direction. A lens is basically a, uh, a piece of glass or a piece of something else. It could be made of something else. It needs to be just transparent. When the light hits the surface of the lens, it will change direction and because it's curved, uh, the light has the potential to focus in only one point. So all the, ray, all the rays will be directed to only one point. That point is called the focal point. The focal length defines the distance between the focal point and the lens. Why is this relevant? Well, it is relevant because every lens is different and every lens has a focal point. What that means, different lenses can focus the light on different, uh, at different distances. I don't want to get very technical into this because it requires a bit of understanding of optics. I just want you to remember a rule of thumb. Small focal length is associated with wide angles. Big focal length is associated with narrow lenses telephoto lenses that can capture a very narrow image, they can bring the image closer. A wide angles, you can capture more, you can capture a bigger or a wider image. Big focal length means a narrow image, means I can see only this bit in a picture and everything that's in this bit, it's brought forward. Just to give you an example, the widest lens 
is a fisheye lens which has only 8 mm focal distance. The fisheye lens has a width of almost 180 degrees. That means without turning my head I can see the point very close to my side, similar on the other side. This is a fisheye lens. I can capture uh, almost a 180 degrees, it's actually 170 degrees. That's an 8 mm lens. This is a wide lens, wide image. The bigger the focal length is, the narrower the image gets. There's a wide variety of lenses out there, from fixed lenses or zoom lenses. A fixed lens is a lens that has a specific focal distance. That means that lens has a fixed angle. Or we have zoom lenses, which they can vary the view angle. The second characteristic of a lens is the f-stop. F-stop, what f-stop means is, is basically defining the aperture or the size of the hole. It's uh, expressed in uh, f numbers. It can go from 1.2 to 22 as far as I could see. I'm not sure if there are other. So an f-stop means how small is the, is the aperture in comparison to 1 inch. 1 inch is 25.4 millimeters. It is expressed as a fraction. Just to make things very simple, just remember, the smaller the number, the bigger the hole. The biggest is f1.2, which is 2 centimeters, and f22 is the smallest. It's approximately 1.5. Everything in between, you're going to be using. Going back to the previous lessons with the basics of, of exposure, f-stops or aperture is uh, directly related with the shutter speed. So what we're saying is large f-stops require fast shutter speeds. Uh, people are just uh, talking about lenses as a fast lens. The lens is not faster, the lens is, is not running away. The lens is faster because it has a big aperture so that, that allows people to shoot with fast shutter speed. So again, the biggest f-stop would be 1.2, that means a 2 centimeters diameter inside the lens, allowing a lot of light to get in. That means we can actually use a very fast shutter speed and we can have a decent picture with that. The bigger the aperture, uh, the more expensive the lens is. I'm not sure why, maybe it's just a marketing thing, but big aperture means good things because you can afford to shoot faster and you will be able to get an image. Small apertures, that means big f-stop numbers, just remember, means slow shutter speed. When someone says this is a, a slow lens, that means it does not have a very wide hole, is that it does not have a very wide aperture, that means the camera needs a longer time to be able to do a proper exposure. That is a slow lens, you won't be able to achieve the same results with a fast lens, let's call it fast lens from now on, which is a f1.2 or f2.8. I think this is enough technical information. I'm pretty sure once you get your head around it, uh, this term terminology with f-stops and focal length won't uh, sound any more complicated and you'll get used to it. So, in conclusion, we have explained what focal distance is and what an f-stop is. These are the two basic characteristics of a lens. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until I see you next time, I wish you happy shooting. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us a message. We'll be happy to talk to you.